Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, I have been in this Maverick for a little bit and although it's beautiful, <laughs> it's too uh, hard. So I'm gonna take all my stuff out and go into a different cover. And I thought I would show you and then maybe a flip. If um, you guys miss this, this is just a dashboard that I could completely take off um, this is my monthly notebook, and uh, yeah, this always stays with my main books. So I'm going to come over here and take these out, and these will lift right up. So, I don't know, I may put these pockets on something else, and then kind of maybe have no pockets in here, I don't know. So, the cover that I am going into is, let me grab it, it is a wide, and it's called, oh my gosh, Fergie? <laughs> I don't know, Ferguson something. So, this is already kind of set up. I had set this up and did this on my Instagram. This is a line Ray Dunn notebook. So I'm gonna take these notebooks out. This is a dashboard. And then it has these dailies from Corpe Diem. I was playing around in this book and I used it like so. So I really love these inserts. So I may put them in a different notebook. This one is a weekly. From Carpadian. So all of these images, Pinterest. This is a little doodad that was given to me. And then I just kind of packed it with some stuff. And then this last one is a dot grid notebook. So I'm going to keep, let's see, I'm gonna put this over here, these have the same pockets that I put in. Um, this is more like stickers. So I'll put, let's see, hold on, hold the phone. These are causing, oh, I forgot. I put an actual pocket right here for these slender stickers. I'm gonna put these here so I don't forget to use them. And then these will just go kind of towards the back, but I'll forget they're there. So no, never mind. I'll just put that there. Um, I don't know. We'll take this little green one out that says blessed. And we'll put love changes everything. And this is just this pretty paper from Michaels. I'll put this back. This is my schedule for homeschooling. And I will put these over here. I do have my ruler and I do have this really cool pin. So let's see <laughs> how my um, book does. Put this here. It's kind of on a loose strand. I don't know if it's this. Yeah, it could be this. I'm going to tighten this up. And if I fail to mention, this is a chic sparrow. I got second hand from Rita. I'm not sure. Rita, what is your last name? I forgot. She's on Instagram. That kind of buckles as I do that, but that's okay. So where's my monthly? Let's find the middle and just kind of stick this on there. So this will cover all my tabs because it is a wide and I'm in a standard. So because I kind of tighten that up, it's going to do that, but that's fine. And then she gave me these beautiful charms that go with it. And I think this is going to be a lot better because I can close it if I want, which I never do, but 
if I'm on the couch or whatever, I can do that. Um, this is my little cleaning doohickey. I will put this pink. Uh, this will stay in the front and this will stay in the back. So I'll just kind of do that. Put away my little black ollie clip. Now, as far as these are concerned, I can stick them in my, probably my carpe diem. Let's see if I have it down here. I think I do. Um, I think they're wide enough. This is a black carpe diem book. And all I'm gonna do is just kind of do that. They won't, I don't think they will. Oh yeah, they will. Oh man, what is that? Oh, it's just some white. I think I'm gonna put this upstairs because I can see a little ding in there. So these will come right flush to the edge. And that's fine. Yeah. So what I had in there was this book. Just set it up one day. I think I just set it up, cut it out, cut it. I think it was like a CD book, yeah, 96 pages. Y'all know I love cutting things. So, here it is. Here's my really pretty little thing. Now, if I wanted to, I can kind of use this middle one that I tied and put it on that, but it looks a little tight. Um, I don't like that either. I'm gonna put it on the last strap because it's not as tight. Because I don't want, you know, I don't want it to start jacking with my thing there. And because this book is so big, it um, it sits right. It's thick in here. So, my monthly, just do a little flip. Um, so far, my memories. Now, this book, I was afraid it wasn't gonna hold. It's, it's holding up, it's the A5 Wonderland 222. Um, I've got two more weeks in it, so we shall see. Um, I started my lifting weights. Um, I've lost two pounds, but not five. <laughs> Gratitude, scripture plan, battling fear. This is the first week I was in it. And this is Nanami paper. Next month, I will be back in Astology. I'm having fun with my fountain pens, changing out inks, getting used to that. You'll see a lot of bold. And then this, this pen is my normal writing pen, my Uniball Jetstream RT 1.0. Um, I'm putting a lot of different, just a lot of different things going on in my babies. They just, it's so accurate. Um, not even in September. This is September, starting September. And this is my September book, but my last, it always, um, I always get like the last week of a month in a new book. So this was last week, I believe. Homeschooling was only like twice or three times last week. No, one, two, three, four times. Because I did stuff on Saturday. And I usually use these for brain dump when I switch the week. Last week. Last week's dailies. <laughs> My princess. And then here we are on this week. So I'm gonna do yesterday's tracker. Um, I believe I spent Monday, but not Tuesday. I'm going to, I didn't film yesterday, but obviously I'm filming today. 
Homeschool, yes. Weights, yes. Instacart, no. Bath, yes. We didn't cook. Floss, both of these. And I didn't clean. I am slipping on my cleaning. Like, I write cleaning down right here to do, like, cleaning. I don't know. Like, not my everyday maintenance. Like, my dishes, my sweeping, my stuff like that. My 10-minute cleanup. When I write clean, I'm like, did you clean the bathroom? Did you clean the microwave? Like, did you do some dirty cleaning like deep down deep cleaning calm yesterday affectionate yeah positive i did sit in silence um i wasn't any which way if anything i was happy we were all off we did some fun stuff together so morning pages devotion notes i was writing in some gray ink but i noticed it was just i like bold so i changed out um, and I went into like this Oxford, what is it called? Oxford Blood or something like that. I'll show you that color for my, um, this is the gray. This is like some blue fiber, fiber, fiber castell. Mm, I'm not sure how I like this. This is like a cartridge one where you load it in. Um, but yeah, not sure. I like a broad or a stub nib. So this is my normal stub nib pen with that gray writing. That's my soap study. And then um, I really loved this purple I did. So um, that's the gray. And then I changed it here. This is that ox blood looking red looking color. So I've had my apple cider vinegar and I have not had a gummy. I've had my water and my coffee, I've had my water. Um, I will take my vitamins here shortly. Um, here is homeschool week. So we went to Build-A-Bear yesterday for Sophia and we talked a lot about emotions. So I did put that there. My husband played a lot of board games with her and did a lot of math with her. Exercise, we walked with the family. My husband did role playing um, with creative superheroes. Um, so today, I haven't done anything. She's not up yet, but I was putting down the devotion topic for myself. We haven't read it with her, but I wanna um, just know what each topic is so I can maybe follow a theme. So here is my brain dump. Um, <laughs> I've wrote Party City twice and I've got to get my creamer. I'm not going to schedule my massage till next week. So I do have to clean the microwave, clean the fridge, call the vet, order the cake. I'm actually going to do, her birthday is Friday, her actual birthday. So we're going to do a small cake for us and the family and then cupcakes for her party. So... I need to change Sophia's sheets. I'm going to write that again right here. Um, when I write things a lot, I seem to do it. So I'm going to also write that on the daily. But here's the week so far. There's yesterday. Have the best vegan tacos or veggie tacos from Bella Green. Um, I got my nails done. We went to the mall. We did a walk in the evening. Um, we were watching movies in the house. I mean, it was just a really nice, really, really nice day. And then here's today. Oh, wait. Yes. So I'm going to put right here, change. <laughs> Sophia's sheets. So we've got Jim. In the afternoon, when she wakes up, we're gonna do the morning routine and some homeschool. We also have, I'm gonna pick up Isaac at five, um, Party City and Target. I wanna cut down a B6 Slim because that is the size. I'm gonna go into for more of a commonplace book. And I've decided like the back of my books are gonna be journaling and then commonplace so i'm not going to write all my lists and stuff out it's just going to be hardcore journal and then um what i'm going to do is i've got a cover coming i know i know the 
this is my old um, Chic Sparrow. It's the folio one, so it looks like that. I love it. I put pockets here. Um, I bought this from a friend. I put a pin loop. But this cover is beautiful. I, I don't even know what leather this is, but it's very nice. But this is my old Cafe Note B6 Slim ruled commonplace book and I've used this for a while and I always come back to it so I'm gonna put that right there um I started this of June in last year so I would put like a monthly and then just do whatever list in between house projects let me see Cast a daily and then July. It's talking about nutritarian eating, having a merry heart in a Martha world. Love that book. Took notes, journaling, journaling, YouTube notes, add to most game activities for Sophia, A5 setup, stuff on communication, podcast notes, journaling. Um, oats daily veggie upload then I went into August um, and that so it's like doing monthly commonplace and I miss that so um, stuff for school last year uh, looks like this is what I was like brain dumping a lot before we started homeschooling I think it was like names rejection scriptures for marriage that's good I should probably incorporate that somehow counseling notes your September. I didn't do much for September. Then here's December. I know in December I did an advent calendar Christmas lists. Oh, I remember. Nine years ago when Hubs and I seen Kobe at the Toyota Center. Oh, I wish he was alive. Yep. Journaling. And then I did like this thing where I was keeping track of our Advent scriptures and the little, um, like, I don't know what this one was. Christmas wreath, Christmas tree, Christmas lights, ornaments. Must have been like a challenge I was following. Then like a little monthly thing where I was doing my faith setup. So, and then I had an Advent calendar where I was keeping track of the kids' stuff that they got each day. I do that for them. They get like uh, 24 small gifts before Christmas. So, verses to pray over your home, choosing Godly character, how to study the Bible, Holy Ghost, Testament, uh, Old Testament books, who is Jesus Christ, who is God, what is faith, how can we be forgiven and live for God. So, I like to place these in so I can still take notes on them. So... That's why I have this as today, so I can move it over and still work on them. And then, then this was all like commonplace book still stuff. So I've got a week, and then here is where I plan to start. Um, I'm gonna take this out actually, but here is what I plan to start um, for this year. So what I typically would do, and this is a longer video, but whatever. I'm gonna use maybe some, no, that paper is not good. Let's see if I could use, oh, that fits just fine. Perfect. So let's just, Do something like that and all I'm gonna do is I'm trying to um, section it out where I know it's September 2021 basically so I'm not gonna put a calendar or anything I'm just gonna it doesn't have to be perfect or anything I just want a clean delineation so let me try Like fall, 
I wonder if I could spell out September. I probably can't. Oh, fine. Nice to see you again. So there's that. A little pumpkin. And then I need to find like a September. Oh, yeah. Hello, September. Maybe. I think I used it all. Oh, pumpkin spice. Sweater weather. I don't know why I have all these freaking stickers, but yeah, it looks like I used them all. Over here, grab a gal. My daughter is up. We'll just place her here. Sweater weather, I can't really see it. Pumpkin spice. And then I will find like something that says September or maybe um I'm gonna put that there with this. I'll find something that says like September. All I really want to do is denote that it's a new, you know, do hickey. Maybe I will use this little guy, because that's why I've kept it back here on purpose. And just to have the month basically don't match but it doesn't need to and then or maybe this way um I will take off December oops and save it back here So that way I know when, what month I'm in. So this today is going to be like a little faith thing. This today I know starts my commonplace and then that's just the dashboard. And September is perfect because this is her birth month. So I'll find something right there. I don't have to be perfect, but I know that now starts my... September commonplace and then when my new cover comes I probably will change all this out or maybe place something over it to match the cover and we're good yay thanks for watching y'all have a great 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 day